Welcome to Wisconsin Family. I'm Jessa Jeremiah. And I'm Justin Riley. We have a great show for you today. We are on location at J&K Security Solutions Model Smart Home. We're going to be talking home automation later on in the program. We are. This is a really fascinating topic it that, is. you know, it's, it's uh, there's things that are possible that a lot of people don't realize are even yeah. possible. Well, yes, you can automate that. You can, you can make your life so much easier. I've said this before, but I'll say it again because I think it's true. There's a study out there that shows that it's the little day-to-day -day thing, annoyance yeah. that actually play more of a role in your happiness than the big things like the big like having the Rolls Royce or the big yeah. home yeah. it's the little things that drive you crazy yeah. so and having a convenient life especially at home makes a huge difference in your happiness yeah, especially as, as busy as everybody is nowadays so true so, yes yeah. Lots um, of fun topics. We're also going to be chatting with James from Best of Janesville. Now, Friday Night Lights is something that they do all summer long. It's a really cool, I guess it's an event. It's a weekly event that they yeah. hold down in Janesville. It's a fun way to go shopping. And if you're trying to, if you're crafty and you've got things to sell, anybody can go down there, set up shop, and have people come look at their items and, really and buy cool. them. And they're yeah. going to add fire pits to that pretty soon, is that, that equation. It's basically a party. It's, it's a yeah, party. Yeah, it's a retail it's a party. party. <laughs> <laughs> we'll also be joined by Jim Essence from Jim's Coins. He's going to bring a few examples of some collectible coins and talk a little bit about what makes those coins valuable. It's more than just the metal. It's more than just the sentimental value. There's a lot of things that go into that. So that is coming up right after the break right here on Wisconsin Family. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are on location at the Model Smart Home here at J&K Security Solutions, and we're going to be learning about home automation later on in the program. It's such a fascinating topic and just fun, too. Yeah, I look forward to it. I need to automate at home. <laughs> yeah, lots of things need <laughs> yeah. to be automated. Uh, but first, we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about coin collecting with Jim Essence from Jim's Coins. Jim, welcome back. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Glad yeah. to see you. Yeah, always, uh, always good to have you back. It's your second appearance on Wisconsin Family, and we you always bring just really cool stuff. Yeah, you've got some neat items I'm excited to learn about, so. And this is kind of, um, you know, we're, we're talking about coin collection. What what makes people want to collect coins? Because not everybody does it, but what, what makes people want to collect coins? Well, I'll kind of set it up here. Uh, there's two, pe two types of people who come into our store. Uh, you can break it down. It's kind of like, just like Antiques Roadshow when you come in mm -hmm. and the first type of person, everybody is happy basically who mm -hmm. comes in. The first person is happy because they see the value of coins mm -hmm. and they see the value of coins, precious metals, jewelry, what have you. They see the number $300, $3,000, you know, uh, tens of thousands of dollars and they think, wow, they think of this problem that it solves for them. Right. Uh, whether it be new braces for the kid that you can uh, pay off a credit card bill, what have you, they see the value. The second type of person sees the coin, and this will answer the question, sees the coin and they're happy. Yeah. They want to own it, they see it, they, uh, it just somehow it has an emotional response to them. It makes sure. them happy. And that, uh, and non-collectors sometimes can't understand this, but it, it uh, um, the collector sees it, they see the history, it makes them think of uh, the old times, the power of money, mm -hmm. the power, uh, the um, it's how a things used to. History lesson in just one little. Yes, piece. exactly, exactly. It makes you and think, go back to that era and think about that time. But uh, kind of follow-up question along the same lines. You asked, you know, in some or answered in some regard, what makes them valuable? But is it just the history and the sentimental value? Or is it the metal specifically, or what's the combination there? Is it is it more about the history and the the fact that this has been saved and or and is rare, rare? Is. Yeah. or is yeah. it the the actual metal that it's made out of? What what makes it valuable? Yes, and that's what makes coin collecting so fun. Is that people come at it from many different angles. Uh, some people enjoy 
the sentimentality of it. It was their father's, their father's father, so it's mm -hmm. in the family, so mm -hmm. to speak. Uh, some people enjoy the metal of it, the reflection of the light. Uh, sometimes they're beautifully toned in rainbow colors. They love that. Hmm. They love the designs. Um, I brought a few coins to show and tell. Yeah. And you can yes. see the, uh, for example, this is a commemorative coin from uh, the Oregon Trail. You can see the Indian in the on it. Yes, in the middle. And then the stagecoach on the back. This is from 1938. Wow. Um, as a commemorative. That. Yeah. Uh, this is from. Cool. During World War II in Hawaii, they printed special currency marked with Hawaii in case it was invaded and taken over. They could just say, okay, all that oh. currency is, is uh, wow. not valuable. Um, and this is a, a dollar, a silver dollar from 1795. And so, you know, people see stuff from the 1700s. That's when the United States just became a nation. Yeah. And they, they love it. Wow. And this is one of my favorites. This is a Wisconsin quarter, and while these are hundreds and thousands of dollars, these coins here, this is just a quarter, and uh, you can find that in circulation or buy it from us for 25 cents, uh, for 59 cents rather, and um, you know the whole family can enjoy looking, talking about yeah. it, yeah. and. Take a look. Um, and collecting with Wisconsin your kids. Wisconsin coin. How exciting. That's very cool. This one's yeah. only 59 cents. Right. If you buy it from us, maybe a quarter yeah. if you find it in Or a yeah. quarter yeah. if you find yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I enjoy this. Obviously, there's a lot of history on this table, but the Oregon Trail reminds me of that game we grew oh, up with. Oh, who could forget that <laughs> game? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> right. So game. my right. sentimental <laughs> reasons are, are similar but different. That game uh, was frustrating, so yeah. maybe it wouldn't be so <laughs> sentimental for me. But Jim, <laughs> do you have any specials coming up that you'd like to talk to us about? Sure. Um, we are offering a free 30-minute appraisal, so you can bring your items in, your listeners can bring them in. We'll tell you about the coins or jewelry or precious metals, whatever, what have you, and we'll tell you what we would pay. And um, it's just like Antiques Roadshow. You can uh, learn about it and learn what it's worth and sell it, uh, what have you. So. That's yeah. so Come on fun. In. Yeah, cool. no, that sounds really interesting. I would enjoy just the anticipation of, okay, what's this one worth? Is it worth something? Is it not? Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah definitely. Real quick mm -hmm. before we go, we just have a few seconds left, but let's talk since we're on Wisconsin Family. How do you get the kids involved? How do you, how do you get them excited about doing this? Well, uh, when the kids, when a collector first starts collecting, how does it happen? That's a, that's a question. When, you, when they see a coin, when they see an item, they just feel it. Mm -hmm. And so the exposure is good. So right. look through coins, see if the child is interested, bring them down. You know, we, we love to encourage young collectors. They can come in and we will, um, you know, maybe they'll see something that they like and, mm -hmm. and that's how they get started. It's a great way to get kids excited about history too, yeah. I think. So sure, that's a yeah. Great start. Show and tell at school. Everybody gets really excited when people bring coins and talk about them. You got it. Thanks, yeah. Jim. Jim Essence from Jim's Coins joined us here at Wisconsin Family. Thanks for joining us, and don't go away. There's more Wisconsin Family coming up after this. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We are filming here right off Park Street at J&K Security Solutions and their Model Smart Home. Later you're going to learn how you can get your own home automated, so that'll be next. First, we're going to talk to those who love flea markets, the pickers, the outdoor sales folks, all kinds of fun stuff. You probably recognize James Flister who joins us from Best of Janesville and we're so glad to see you. Thanks for having me. We got a lot to talk about. We always have a lot to talk yes, about. Yes, we do. <laughs> but Friday Night Lights. Yes. Has this started? And talk to us about this, because this is your outdoor flea market. It's our outdoor Tons flea market. It's already started. We're doing every Friday night, so from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Anybody can come and set up outside and set up their own booth and sell their cool stuff. Only recommendation, it, the only requirement is have cool stuff and want to have a good time. So hey. it's it's uh, we, have, we have fun every every time. Must That's want fun. to have a good time. Must That's, right. Must be fun. Yeah. <laughs> and want to have fun. Yes. Yeah. So that sounds great. So you have uh, you guys also do estate sales and you have something called the Best of Memories estate sale. We Talk do. To us a little bit about we that. do. We have Best of Memories estate sales. So it kind of kind of dovetails with our consignment model. So um, okay. if you have uh, a home or an estate full of stuff and want to weed out or a, a change in circumstance or a family change. We'll come and clean out the entire house if you need us to, or wow. just a couple of items. Either way, we'll bring it back to our shop, 
and we'll price it, we'll research it, we'll tag it, market, clean it up, all that good stuff, and we'll sell it, and then you keep a percentage of the sale, and we'll have oh a couple, God. we'll build a couple of big outdoor sales around around the event. That's wow, incredible. That's cool. You know, there's so many families out there that I think would benefit from that because you struggle as you as you age or as your parents are aging with having to downsize. Right. And sometimes that's a very daunting task for people to take on their own. It is. We run into collectors all the time that have been collecting for a lifetime and they've had fun doing it and now all of a sudden they're like, what do we do with all this stuff? Right. Yeah. And so we've got the solution for you. We can yeah. pass it along and, and we, we treat the we treat the items with the respect they deserve. You know, yeah. if this is a death in the family or whatever, um, we treat that with the right re amount of respect. That's really smart that you say that because it's so true. It is such an emotional process, whether it's because you're grieving or mm -hmm. even just, uh, you know, like I said, having to downsize. There's a lot of memories wrapped up mm -hmm. in somebody's yes. home, whether yes. it's that individual or the family. So really smart uh, and helpful. Definitely. So we're going to turn the tables a little bit because one of the things that is so helpful about your, your business is that one, you can, like you said, go to homes and, and help do that, but you also obviously have this shop in Janesville and you carry some larger items and sometimes folks need help transporting those items. So Definitely. talk to us a little bit about so U-Haul. We, uh, we have the u U-Haul dealership at Best of Janesville, so all, any size truck, trailer, towing, the appliance dollies, the furniture pads, but kind of the, the most recent exciting part is we sell the, um, the, the used trucks. So Patty just sold uh, three 26 foot box trucks last week. So if you need a box truck for your business or whatever, come on down and see us and we can get you the right the right size. Really? Isn't that interesting? Wow, I didn't okay. even think about like yeah. buying an actual truck. Definitely. Now then does it say U-Haul and everything No, it's it, been all it? de-imaged and it's just the white, ah. white side. So. Yeah. Um, if you come down and you see the white-sided uh, trucks, you'll know those are the for sale, you know, for sale ones. Interesting. And um, just come on in, and, and they're pre-priced, and just you know, negotiate a price, and we'll get you get you the best deal possible. Well, that's, that's cool. Interesting. You never think, you know, you just don't think to go to a U-Haul dealer. You think you have to go to a dealership, but right. you can actually buy these great yeah. vehicles. And then do you, uh, do you do you paint like can you paint my face on the side oh, of it? Oh yeah, we maybe can, maybe we can Denise can do that for me. She <laughs> Definitely. Just a just a just a big big right, mural big on mural, the side yeah. of the truck. <laughs> so. See that driving down the highway? Yeah. <laughs> and it won't be me. You're going to drive the truck. I'll drive it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so you guys uh, switching gears just a little bit here. You guys uh, are doing business coaching now, which I think is really cool. Talk to us a little bit about that. We That's are. So we cool. just kind of launched this. Patty and I have actually been doing this for several years now. Just kind of you know, informally helping other couples and individuals with business plans and, and concepts and whatnot. So we're kind of taking it to that next semi-official level. And what we want to do, the way it would work, is um, we'd meet with you for an initial like consultation for like two or three hours. And we'll meet face-to-face -face once a week for 12 weeks. But all the rest of the time, it's kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet, if so to speak, of email us, text us, shared Google documents. Whatever you need, I mean, this is for a highly motivated individual. Right. So yeah. whatever you need, we're there as kind of a sounding board, whether it's to help you with your uh, personal branding, to help grow sure. your business, or whatever the case may be, we're there to help you. And That's you may cool. have just a little bit of experience in this aspect because you have been very busy yourself. Just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> we're willing to pass that along, and we want to yeah. help as many people as we can That's with it. That's so nice. It's, you know, it's hard starting a business, but it's so nice to be able to do that, and you, you've got to have resources out there. Definitely. And so to have somebody that's gone through that is incredible. Well, James, yeah. you're uh, a very busy guy, so you can see James and crew down at Best of Janesville, and they have a, how, how many square feet? I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, your spot shop. A little over uh, 8,000. 8,000 square feet yeah. of just awesome yeah. items, beautiful vignettes, tons of fun shopping. Friday Night Lights is going on now. Yep. All Every summer. Friday. All summer, right? All summer. So you can do oh, those great outdoor sales. Oh, and the next best sales. thing, too, is for Friday Night Lights, we're going to introduce a fire pit into each uh, person's booth outside so oh, they can tend fun. to their own fire pit while the Friday Night Lights is going on. That's cool. Well, that sounds like a great Friday night. I love yeah. it. So that's going on. Um, estate sales services, like you said, and even business services. You've got a lot on your plate. This is James Flister with Best of Janesville. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right. If you're ready to automate your home, stick around. We'll be back with J&K Security Solutions.
And welcome back to Wisconsin Family. And here we are. This is the segment we've all been waiting for. Yes, it is. We are talking to the folks from J&K Security Solutions, and we're going to learn a little bit more about the model smart home that we're in right now. I'm joined now by owners uh, Jeff Beckman and general manager Tom Spinoso. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us, guys. We've really enjoyed being here and lounging in the yes. theater room. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a cool place, it that sure theater. Is. So, um, Jeff, I want to start with you a little bit. Why don't you just give us a quick history of uh, J&K Security Solutions? Well, actually, kind of hard to believe, but 30 years ago, we started as locksmiths. We really? Started, we started out of our home. So it was my wife, Kim, and myself. Yeah. And went from there. Uh, we went to a retail location, expanded, moved to another location, all on Park Street. Expanded, moved to another location, got into security, expanded again, came here. And in 2009, we built this building and the rest is history. Wow. That is interesting. So you've just kept moving and expanding along the way and here you are today running this wonderful business. Made, made the right decisions along the way, had the right help. Sure. A lot of family. Yeah. yeah. Brother, yeah. son, son-in-law. Yeah. Wife. That's so. great. It's become family a family business. business. Yes. Family yes. affair. Absolutely. Well, that's wonderful. So you definitely are equipped to answer this question then. I'd like to know, you know, over the years, 30 years, I suppose you could answer, how mm -hmm. has security sort of grown and evolved and changed? Well, back in the 90s when, when we did a lot of lock work and we did a lot of institutional lock work, hospitals and whatnot, Sure. Everyone was going electronic. They wanted an electronic strike. They wanted card access. They wanted bird alarm cameras. Wasn't a big thing then, but we decided we better get on the horse or we'll be left behind. So right. uh, today, it's affordable for everybody. Sure. I mean, we get calls daily. You have your uh, national companies, ADT. You have uh, other national ones. We're local. Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool to, to say that you're local and you can do the same thing that some of those bigger companies do. Absolutely. And I imagine that, I mean, that was a, a, a good example of a smart move on your part then to, you know, say, you know, I think this could be a thing, these electronic cards and so forth, uh, that could be a thing in the future. So we really need to get, get on that. It, it was. We were very fortunate we made that decision. Yes. yes. And it was a smart move, like you said. Smart <laughs> move. Got it. <laughs> you're just full of them today, I Jessa. Know. Yeah. So, um, this, I'm really, really intrigued by the idea of the smart home technology. We've been hearing more and more about that. I think that's one of those things that could be like the next, you know, key fob and whatnot. So uh, talk to us a little bit about what exactly is a smart home. That's where I'm going to refer to Tom. He's the expert here. Um, well, a smart home is really um, a home where everything works together. Mm -hmm. We can take subsystems in a home or parts of a home like lighting, HVAC, security, audio, video, um, energy management, uh, those kinds of things and blend them together so that they all work together, can talk to one another and can be, um, uh, you know, be controlled really from within the home or outside the home and really make a home work for, for a person or a family. Yeah, and kind of expand on that working smarter together, what that kind of means for a family in terms of, you know, just convenience. Sure. Yeah, we focus a lot on um, comfort and convenience and mm -hmm. safety and security would be some areas that people really enjoy. Um, an example would be um, if you're coming home late at night, the system might know, for example, that it's dark outside, you open your garage door, it would light your home, the outside lights, and maybe light a pathway into your home automatically without you having to think about it. And the system works on, you know, knows when dawn and dusk is, so as that changes throughout the year, you don't have to think about it, the system automatically does it for you. That would be an example. The other feature people really like about a smart home would be um, an automation scene. We would call it good night as an example. You might have a keypad or pull out your phone next to your bed and press a good night button. It would turn the lights off in the home. It might arm your security system, shut the garage door if you had left it on, um, turn the thermostat back when you're ready to go to bed as opposed to a hard schedule. So it's really about taking all these areas and blending them together and making that house work together. Like and, and even one more point, People go on vacation, they set timers for lights because they want to make sure that people think they're home. Right. You can put a vacation scene in there and it'll handle everything that you pre-program into it. Oh, that's wow. really great. I like I liked what you said about um, being in bed and being able to shut everything off. Right. You know how that is when you lay down and you're all ready to go to bed and then you go, oh shoot, I left such and so light on and you gotta get back up. Right. And yeah. I mean, that's a convenience thing, but how nice to be able to just yeah. set it and forget yeah. it. And they give you visual um, confirmation. Is that door closed? Is that light off? So you, you don't have to get up and run around the house right. and 
and right. work those and items. And then the vacation safety, I think that's something that everybody needs and wants. Yes, absolutely. And now, I, I'm curious to know, I have a lot of questions about this, and I don't know if we're going to have time to get to all of them today, but um, how does one get started with a smart home? What are the first steps? If I wanted to convert my home into a smart home, what are the first steps? Mm -hmm. Um, well, what's great about smart home today is that you can get started in very small ways. Um, it, you can start with a one-room system, control perhaps your audio sure. and video, some lights, and then scale into a, a bigger system for your entire house. Um, so it typically starts with a controller or some software and, sure. and some devices, and once you get them connected, you, you can start from there and then grow. The, uh, the great thing about the smart home technology today is whether you're building a new home or remodeling, a lot of the smart home technology today is wireless. So we can go right. into an existing home, retrofit that home, and get all the advantages uh, of somebody who would be building a new home today. I think that's a really good point that you brought up because I think maybe folks may not, not everyone may not realize that and they think, boy, I have an older home, I would love the technology, but I can't do it because it, they'd be tearing down walls or wiring right. through, you know, different things, but that's not the case. So it really right. doesn't matter what you're saying, the age of the home, you can make it a smart home regardless. Absolutely, absolutely. And tell us a little bit, you, you kind of touched on this a little bit, Jeff, but talk to us a little bit about sort of the difference or, or why J&K is a great place to start maybe as opposed to some of those bigger names. Well, where, where I will start is we've been here 30 years. We're family owned. Yeah. We're local. Everyone knows buying local is best. Yeah. We actually have learned over time how you treat customers and that's how we retain them. There are other aspects that Tom will go into. Just a couple of things. I, I think the showroom and you've talked about it. You know, the ability to come in this technology can seem confusing, it can seem sort of, um, you know, people are hesitant to ask questions. When you come into the showroom, you can come in, it's set up like a home, we'll let you work the equipment, you'll see how it works, you'll interact with it, and that allows you to get a real comfort level with it. And I think yes. that's a big distinction between what we do here and, and what's done elsewhere. Boy, I think that's so important too, because if you're talking about new technology and I think this is a good topic for some older folks and people who sure. live at home alone uh, that maybe they're nervous that they won't know how to use it mm -hmm. and so that might be a hindrance to going ahead and getting it even though it would be a huge and, benefit. And, and maybe the last thing and I, I think this is where Jeff is going to go our, our support and customer service I mean we are really great at, at what we do and so if somebody has questions or problems or issues you know, I feel like nobody stands behind people as, as good as J&K does. Yeah, well, thanks for mentioning that. And they're going to talk to somebody locally if they do have an issue. Right. A so. real person. Yeah, a real person. Imagine Absolutely. that, right? Yeah. Well, Jeff and Tom, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. This was great, great talking yeah, with you. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you. It was fun. And that's all the time we have for Wisconsin Family. We've been here on location at J&K Security Solutions, and we'll see you next time.